The largest ever public crocodile dissection has taken place in Darwin as part of National Science Week. It wasn't for the faint-hearted, but the event was a rare opportunity for the public to see the world's leading croc experts in action. The star of the show heaved off a truck amid a scrum of fans. Hi. But they're not your usual type, and this is not your traditional celebrity. At four and a half metres, it's the largest crocodile ever to be dissected by scientists at a public event. Let's have a look at a real animal and let's cut it open, let's talk about it when it's alive, let's talk about it when it's dead, let's talk about how it evolved. This display is part of National Science Week and it's clear that nothing draws a bigger crowd than an up-close and personal crocodile experience. It was big and scary. From tooth to tail, leading world expert Graham Webb was on hand to show the audience the ins and outs of the world's most fearsome and efficient predator and answer all the tough questions. And in the name of science, today was all about getting involved. Conservationist Matt Wright lending a helping hand. You don't really want to know what it smells like, but you're going to shortly when we open it up. Sick bags were handed out to the audience as things got tough. But for those who could stomach it, this was a rare and fascinating opportunity to see the world leading experts in the field in full swing and understand the science behind one of the territory's most unique industries. This is the largest saltwater crocodile Professor Graham Webb has ever dissected in a public forum. Not only are there hundreds of people here today, but it's also being streamed live online. This mouse salty was once part of the Territory's crocodile breeding program, but after attacking four potential mates, he'd been donated to science. There is a, a lowering popularity of science in the general community, so this is one of those opportunities to really spark a renewed interest in science for our public. If it helps just one person decide that science is something that's a little bit more lively than a lab coat and a computer, then, then I'll, be, I'll be pleased. Zara Ratu, Nine News.